Venus, the second planet in the solar system. It has a surface temperature of 450 degrees Celsius, 96% of its atmosphere is laden with carbon dioxide. There are no known species that are inhabiting the planet, but for most of its history, Venus once had a climate very much like Earth. Our first glimpse into the surface of Venus came from the Soviet Union's Venera and Vega missions, which were launched between the 1960s and 1980s. These programs were developed to investigate the planet by taking pictures which could be used to evaluate the composition of Venusian rocks. However, the probes launched by the Venera and Vega missions failed to land on the surface due to the planet's high temperature and pressure. Our most comprehensive look into the planet's surface came from the Magellan Space Probe launched by NASA in 1989. It used a radar to produce detailed images of 98% of Venus's surface through the dense clouds that masked the planet. This is tesserae, the oldest kind of rock found on the surface of Venus. On Earth, geologists deduced that old rocks have the best chance of preserving evidence of water erosion. The pattern with which tesserae valleys have formed are very similar to river flow patterns on Earth, suggesting that tesserae valleys were formed by river erosion. Another way tesserae valleys could have formed is through volcanic eruptions. The volcanoes found in Venus are equivalent to the large igneous provinces found on Earth. LIPs approximately occur every 20 to 30 million years. These can release enough carbon dioxide to not only cause a catastrophic change in the Earth's climate, but even mass extinction. The smallest of LIPs can produce enough magma to cover the entirety of Canada to a depth of 10 meters. If an LIP could cause such a great climate change event, can we expect the same to happen on Earth in a few million years' time?